Odd grease here. That's where I came from. And here was uh, the trail ends right here. Oh my goodness, look at this thing right here. It's a giant ravine. Drops off 50, 60 feet. It's absolutely gorgeous. What a way to start a morning. It's a little dark, but because we, our cloud cover is, uh, is thick. This is big ravines everywhere we look. Drops off a lot. So that's where the trail goes. That direction right there, that's where we're headed. All right, everyone. The start of another day. And, uh, you know, the guys have been giving me a rasin because, you know, I lost my fork and my, and my and, excuse me, my knife and my spoon at the, my last zero with my wife. I figured, well, I must have packed it away with something with her. And I went through my pack like three different times looking for my spoon. And I thought for sure, yep, I left my spoon with my wife. So I've been scrambling, trying to eat and manage, but it's been working out thanks to rerun. And uh, last night I get my pack out and we had to change maps on gut hooks and all that stuff. And so I got the paper AWOL out that I have in my pack. And lo and behold, in the plastic bag that I got the, the book in was my spoon and knife. So it's been with me the whole time. So yeah, my memory. <laughs> I'm old and I'm gray, so that's my excuse. So I have my knife and my spoon back. I feel whole again. <laughs> I had my breakfast with my own spoon. Life is good on trail. <laughs> the small things in life. All right. We are uh, headed north. And we may make the Mass Pike today. Which is just unreal because that's the first place I crossed the Appalachian Trail. When I headed south to get dropped off at Amicola was on the Mass Pike. So I've walked all the way back to it, maybe today. I'm trying to get my mind wrapped around that. Unbelievable. Life is good, I'm having a ball, and uh, we're headed north. Morning again, everybody. That's the trail, that's where I came from. I come out to this nice little pasture. I'm in the opening. And there is Massachusetts Farmhouse with cattle. They're all sitting there in line. Looks like there's a tractor next to them. And uh, farmhouse, barn, truck, tractor, just a beautiful hill. And uh, very picturesque. There's a pond right there. Thought I'd share that with you. Hey, that's hot grease here. That's where I came from. We got to overlook the first one this morning. I'm going to call it the Misty Mountain Morning. There's a mountain there, and there's another one on the other side, but it's pretty much socked in. Beautiful. In its own way. And a beaver bog in the bottom. We got a breeze that wants to rain, but not yet, so. We're doing good. 
It's a cool day. We're still sweating though. All right, small little view, but still pretty. We'll see everybody up trail. These amazing ferns. Hey, it's hot grease. That's where I came from. It's been a pretty nice day. It really hasn't rained. It's been a little misty, but uh, it's been a great day to hike. I'm taking a break up here on top of this little hill. I just noticed this when I was filming. Man, that crab apple tree is full of apples. It's pretty cool. I'm sure the deer will be up here this fall. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is the reason I turned the camera on. It's not a big view, but it's a view. Beautiful house there at the bottom of the of the mountain. That's another ridge over. I don't think we're going to walk that ridge. At least we're not heading in that direction. As you can see, it's fogged and souped in in certain places, but we get to see the other ridge. It's kind of nice. And right down there in the bottom. It's a pretty little house. Man, I don't know if it's little or not, but it's a pretty nice house. So, that's what we got. And the trail moves on. All right, we'll see what's up trail later. <clears throat> Hot grease. Here, that's how far, 280.5 miles. This is an AMC cabin that sets up on a hill here that they put in the AWOL guide, but they don't tell you it's locked up tight. You can't use it. It's, uh, it's the AMC at its best. All they worry about is money. They don't care a thing about a through hiker. kind of crazy looks very well taken care of looks like like someone's taken over the front porch but it's well built hey. hello how's everybody we're good how are you oh. i'm tired <laughs> very very tired yeah you can see how well built it is it's just not for through hikers it's just for people with money Hot grease here. <clears throat> That's where I came from. Now that I'm done with my rant about the cabin, I'm down here in the dock looking at the pond. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm telling you. There's somebody with a boat over there on the island playing music, having fun, swimming. Looks like they're in a canoe. But the trail actually is down that far, that on that end of the lake. But we blue blazed up here because that's the only place you can camp around here. But the lake is uh, absolutely gorgeous. And the sun is shining on that ridge with your reflection in the water. Pretty cool. Fish swimming around, but it's 7.35. Oh, it's time to go to bed because I am beat. We did 22.2 to get here. That's too much. And every time I do that, I say I don't want to do it again, but we did it. So we're here. We're still waiting on hotspot. He's not here yet. He probably won't be in until 8, 8.30. I hope he gets here before dark. That's the way back to the hammock. This is the end of the day video. 
So we'll be, cra we'll be crossing the Mass Turnpike tomorrow morning. And then the following day, we'll be going into Dalton for an arrow. So that's the plan. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate the comments. We'll see what tomorrow brings.